Madhouse Mapa founder Masayo Maruyama wants that Chinese animation could outshine Japanese anime soon. Good day ladies and gentle weebs. Welcome back to E Junkie TV. I am Black King and as usual if you're yet to subscribe please subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Masayo Maruyama who is a big name in the anime industry as the co-founder of Studio Madhouse Mapa and M2 was published on the Japanese Times saying that Chinese animation known as Donghai will soon overtake Japanese anime known as anime. He further stated in the published article that in Japan people are no longer trained in animation and the only reason China hasn't quite caught up with Japan yet is because of a bunch of restriction on free expression there. Although we can't say clearly what he means by Japanese people are no longer trained in animation or if he's just outrightly calling them lazy. But he's worried that pushing for an anime hit for every project has made the industry lose sight of its creativity and at this time doesn't necessarily outshine animations produced by Disney. I personally think that he is not wrong at all as we rarely get to see works like stories told by Studio Ghibli or Ghibli, whichever you prefer, which is still the only anime studio that has an anime that has won an Oscar. And I can tell this is the idea that caused the change in Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2's animation. Also, I love the little job at Disney's animation, you know, got to put them in their place. Kind of like, work on yourself before you say things like Korean works are better than Japanese works. Obviously, these are my words, so, uh -huh. But Masayo Maruyama is concerned that Japan is looking more to kawaii characters and money spinning genres and that the industry isn't fostering the next generation of talents, where China is investing hard into young animators and that if China gives animators the freedom to create what they like, the country's animation industry will quickly rival and take over Japan. Currently, Maruyama is producing Astro Boy that will be distributed by Netflix later this year. So tell us at eJunkie TV, what are your opinions on the topic? Do you think Chinese Donghai will surpass Japanese anime or that Japanese anime might improve even more after this? Once again, remember to like, share and if you have not subscribed, please subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay weird!